So in this module, we'll start looking at the options of this status bar and we'll start with the first two options, which is grid and the snap mode. So here in this drawing area, you'll notice that by default, it's completely blank or in your case, it may have a grid and we have the UCS and the normal objects here. Now you can also add grid if it is not present in your drawing area directly by clicking this first icon, which is grid mode. You can also turn it on by pressing the F7 key on your keyboard. So here we have a grid which is mostly like a graph paper. So you can zoom in and zoom out to see its individual blocks. And now here we have these individual blocks. Now currently there are five blocks in horizontal and five blocks in vertical direction. And after every five block, there is a major line in both the directions. Now these grids are helpful in creating lines and other drawings in AutoCAD, but you can also change the settings of these grids. So in order to change its setting, simply right click on the grid mode and select this grid settings. So now on this drafting settings window, we have lots of options. We'll simply select this grid spacing option. So currently you can see that the grid X spacing is set to 10 unit. That means the single box or the single grid here has a length of 10 unit in X direction and also in Y direction it is 10 unit. Now here we have this major line every five blocks. So that simply means that after every five block in both the direction, we have this major line. Now, if you want to change these settings, you can do that. So we'll change it for now. So I'll change the grid X spacing to one and also the grid Y spacing will change to one. Now we want major line after every 10 blocks. So we'll change it to 10. And now let's click on okay. So the settings of this grid has completely changed. And now if you'll zoom in, you'll find that here we have these new settings. So now we have each block with length of one unit in horizontal and one unit in vertical direction. And also after every 10 block, we have these major lines. Now there is one more option, which is this is snap mode. So you can turn it on by pressing the F9 key, the function nine key on your keyboard. And by using this snap mode, you can snap at particular points on this grid. So we will once again change the settings for this snap mode as well. So I'll just click on it to turn it on and now right click and select this snap settings. So now here we have the settings related to the snap and in order to have a uniform value for snap and grid, we need to change the values for both of these properties. So in this case, we have changed the X spacing to one. And in this case, it's set to 10. So let's now change it to one in this case. Also press tab key and the Y spacing will also change to one. We'll see what this means in a moment. So now change these values and click on OK. Now select any command for this case, I'll select the line. And now you'll notice that our cursor behaves in a very random way. So even though I'm moving my cursor uniformly in the drawing area, it will only snap to the intersection of grid lines, as you can see here. And after every one grid line, the cursor will snap because we have changed its value in that way. Now let's say that we want this cursor to snap after every two grid lines or after every two grid blocks. So we can right click, go to snap settings and change it to two and now click on OK. And now after every two blocks, you can see that it's snapping in horizontal as well as in vertical direction. So in this way, you can change these values. Now, how are these helpful? So first let's change it to one so that it has a uniform value. And now we'll make a simple geometry. So I'll make a simple rectangle in this case with a length of 10 and width of five unit. So I'll click on this point and we don't need to be concerned about the point because it's exactly clicking at the intersection of the grid lines. And now click here, that will be the 10 length. And also we have this five length, the 10 length and five and now press enter. So we can easily make this kind of geometry directly taking the reference of these grid lines or the background grids here. So it's quite helpful in making these kind of geometries. But for most of the cases I keep these settings off and I also keep the grid off and I prefer to work without these grids, but it's completely up to you how you use these grids. So that was all about the grid and the snap mode settings.